Okay, we're recording. It's Talk to Me Tuesday. And Monica, hello, my dear. Happy to have you too. I'm in the dark because I'm on, I, I probably should turn my, I do have a light. Like, where's my light? There's my crutches. <laughs> um, you probably want me in the dark tonight because I have yet been able to take a shower. So... <laughs> So Joe had a four o'clock um, party and she is wrapping things up, but I told her that I would make sure we started on time. And I just really am proud of all of you. Forgive me if I'm not quite as um, focused, having a couple days being on the bed, I'm, I'm a little bit, um, I guess, still recovering. But I really am excited for what you guys are doing for this November. Like this is Nail It November. And one of my girlfriends, she, she did this, um, she actually created the little terms. She said, October, we rock it. So it's Rocktober, we nailed no November because we wanna dazzle in December. And really that's so brilliant because what you're doing today is going to pay you 90 days down the road. So when you can really up your numbers and get excited about having your practice faces, doing your Power Start Plus, that momentum is going to take you in the right direction. So I, I know many of you turned in your weekly accomplishment sheets and you get to have the first dibs. So raise your hand if you finished your weekly accomplishment sheet with Joanna. I don't know, Monica, I don't know if I've ever taught you how to do it. Um, so I can always do that later. But um, I think I saw Maggie's hand go up. Anybody else? Joan? Okay, every the normal crew. Okay, who wants to start with a woe or a wow? Um, this is an opportunity to be coached as well as celebrated. So um, Joan, you want to start us off? Well, um, I had a big sale. I called a customer and got, she's a good, usually once or twice a year for a big order. So that was really nice. And um, I am getting ready for a craft fair. And I made some little pilgrims for the um, satin hands. So they're the satin hands and um, all dressed like a pilgrim. I'll go get one. Oh my gosh, that's so creative. You're going to put us to shame. Okay, so while Joan's getting that, I do really want to encourage, there's Joe. Hold on, Joe. I want to encourage each of you to get out your weekly tracking IPA sheet. I um, created it a couple months ago, and although today's Tuesday, so if you're not pulling it out on Sunday and choosing how many IPAs, we call those star days, that you're going to have this week, a week's going to pass you by. Oh my gosh, Joan, that is the cutest little That's pilgrim. That's so cute. Do you have product in it? Sad hands. Hands. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Girl, you got way too much time on your hands. <laughs> okay, Joan, before I you go my... Dre, why are you so dark? Because I'm on the couch and my lamp is dark. Oh, okay. Sorry, I can't get to Joan, my- Joan, I'm so happy for you. But you guys, I want to tell you something. My biggest money maker right now is selling the pillow gift for Thanksgiving to the guys. They are loving it. I'm just saying. Okay. All right. So sorry I was so late. Um, I finished up uh, uh, the hashtag Mary Kay makeover thing. So has anybody else entered a model on the model search thing? Has anybody entered one on Instagram? No. Okay, because we thought she would get some type of um, like um, confirmation or something, but she posted it and it had all the other pictures of other people on Instagram. So I guess I need to, I don't know, she's young and she knew how to do it, but um, yeah, I can't find my little direction thing. But yeah, you have to, they have to upload it on Instagram and then put your name on it. it has had the consultant name or it doesn't count but yeah that was the first one i did but i'm doing a ton of them on december 8th a ton of them a whole day's worth so i'm very excited 
and we can order the samples. Andrea, did you say the 16th? Because the company told me the 15th. No, this is the 15th. Okay, all right. So we're hearing two different things. I'm just, I'm gonna keep checking, and as soon as we can order the samples, I'm gonna let you guys know. So, um, and I, I would love to do a reward for November orders and maybe let you guys um, earn the samples, but you need to get the samples now. Just, that's your 10% that you set aside for extra stuff. Just check it up, Buttercup, and order those samples. Look at the looks on InTouch and figure out like four looks you want to do and get the samples for those looks. Does that sound fair? Yep. Okay. All right. Um, okay. Is everybody muted? Am I? I'm not in charge, am I? Um, well, both of us are in charge. We're both you. I'm blonde. <laughs> and I have thin um, thighs. Joan was just sharing um, her, her wows, and I was just going to ask, Joan, what is your goal for this week? How many um, IPAs are you committed to? Um, well, I've had a facial, and I've had follow-up, fix sex follow-ups, um, and I'm getting ready for that craft fair Saturday. So, bye. Okay, great. Awesome. Amy and Maggie also turned in their um, weekly accomplishment sheet. Yay. I'll do, I'll do 10 IPAs this month, this week. Sorry. <laughs> Let me I write like that it. down. Let me write that. Hold that thought. I'm going to write that down. You have a pen? Yes. You don't need a pen. <laughs> I do. If you guys could see what my office looks like right now, because my daughter laughs at me. Now that she's in Mary Kay, she can criticize me, I guess. But she goes, Mom, you make such a mess when you do makeovers. I'm like, yeah, it's my prerogative. Okay, so Amy is gonna do 15. <laughs> I see I'm why she needs a don't you? <laughs> Did you say 15? Sure. What'd you say? Ten. Amy's gonna do fifteen. <laughs> See, it doesn't do any good to argue. <laughs> Maggie, I was gonna go for five. Yeah. Well, guess what, Maggie, Maggie is ten. <laughs> ten for Maggie. <laughs> All right, Monica. 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 Is she sleeping? Monica, breathe. Monica Wade. She's frozen, I think. No, the flashes are going on. Yeah. <laughs> Monica. I'll text her. I'll text her. Monica. <laughs> oh, she, she can't, can't hear, hear us. She can't hear us. Oh, that's Maybe. weird. Okay. Uh, can't hear us. That's oh. weird. She has to enable her sound, maybe? Mm -hmm. Let me text her. Okay. It gets back on. And Amy, your mom is frozen. Yeah, I can't. She's on twice though. Um, but I can't. I can hear, but I can't. Joan, how many IPAs are you going to do this week? Um, five. Ten for Ten. Joan. Ten for Ten. Joan. Do y'all see, do you see what I have in front of my computer right now? Do you see this? No. Nice. And do you see this? Woohoo! You guys, I want to tell you something. We need your director to go on the trip. That has never been a big goal of mine. But I have talked to several people who've been on the trip for the first time after saying for years they weren't going to do it and it wasn't a priority. And I've had two directors tell me it is life changing. It has changed everything about their perspective, about the company, about how to be a director and the influence they have on the company. So right now, 
I have a crusade going on. I have <laughs> gone ape over everybody I know in Mary Kay, contacting their sales development leader, calling into sales development and asking, why don't we have samples of all the lipsticks and all the lip glosses? And this may not be a big priority to you guys, but we have no territories in Mary Kay and we have tried before you buy. But if you look, and I, I will upload the document. I think I already uploaded it on Superstars. If you will look at all the lipsticks that you cannot get samples for. So what brought this, what really, well, I've been talking about this for a couple of years for the company. And they've said, creating samples is as expensive as creating the real thing. We'd rather create the real thing. And then you get section one retail credit. Okay. That is not work for me when I have customers all over the country because it is so much easier to mail a little bubble than it is an entire lipstick. Or if they want five samples, I'm gonna mail them five lipsticks. I, I'm telling you, a bug has crawled up my ear and I am mad about this because what happened was Jules has a customer in Georgia and she wants to get this red lipstick. And I told her, I said, Jules, that will look horrible on her. It's too orange. And she's like, well, what do I do? And I said, well, let me pull a bunch of my red um, lipstick samples. And then I realized, and I knew this before, but I was like, dang it, we need more samples. Because the try before you buy is the whole premise of our business. Mm -hmm. Now, as a director, I want to tell you guys something. We don't like to see a lot of section two orders. I would rather you earn your section two by being a star consultant or being consistent or saying, hey, I need $30 worth of section two. Give me a challenge. We would much rather you put your money in section one, which gives you retail credit. But when it comes to these lipsticks, lipstick is the most emotional product a woman puts on her face. And if they can't try it through the bubbles, we we're hurting ourselves and I had a couple of people on because I put it on five different sites I put my complaint on five different Mary Kay sites and I had people say well just use the real thing and I'm like that's unsanitary so I need you guys to call Mary Kay pro, or not product development call the sales de development you can find the number on in touch and say I just want to I just want a logic complaint right now we need lipstick samples. And tell everybody you know. Because if we do this big time, I actually talked to someone in product development today, and she said, Joanna, I completely understand what you're saying. Tell your friends to all call their sales development team. Because that's where the changes are made. And you guys, what that did was that really showed me that when we call Robbie or John Siemens or Julia, when we tell them what our complaints are or we leave a voice message, they do listen. Because we are, we're their heart, we're their bread and butter, we're their heart and soul. So let's jump on this. How many of y'all have lipstick bubbles that you use, lipstick samples? Are you frustrated with how many samples you don't have? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it worth a $45 section two order to get a sample, to get a whole strip of every one of those? Yes. Yes. And you know what we could do? Um, as far as the samples for the new Chroma Fusion, I'll make it retroactive where um, when you can order the samples, I'll put out something, and I'm sure Andre will too, because right now she's on Percocet and she'll do anything I tell her to do, that we will, we will send you in product or sussies or section two equal to what you order in the samples, as long as you do a qualified order this month. Because if you do a qualified order, then we can take some of those commissions and we can order those products and send them to you. So I'm putting that, I'm, I'm claiming it right now.
Hey, Joe, Kathy, uh, excuse me, Arlene raised her hand. Oh, Arlene, what's going on? It, it was back before when you asked people to raise their hands hmm. about the sample. Oh, okay. She wants samples. I'm just saying. Okay, so as far as the chromafusion samples go, um, who's who's on who's going to go for Star Consultant? Who's doing a qualified order this month to stay on target for Star? Amy, I'm sure you're raising your hand right now. I Maggie, don't I don't see your hand. You need to put it up closer to your face. Maggie, it is time for you to be a Star Consultant. If you can't do it during the holidays, girlfriend, I'm worried. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> this is the quarter to be a star consultant. Hey, this will okay. be Monica's first time. Her hand's up. Monica! <laughs> I, I can finally I hear you. Down, so <laughs> okay, so you guys, the star consultant program is the program upon which the free car wheels ride. When you are a star consultant, then you have enough inventory and enough customers to sustain yourself in earning a car. It is everything in Mary Kay. It is the first thing I ever achieved in Mary Kay was Star Consultant over and over and over again. I was like, I don't care what it takes. I've got a hundred stars now. I, I cannot express to you enough how important it is. So if you right now are like uh, Star Consultant, no, no, not even close. Okay. The lowest, or the first, I shouldn't say the lowest, the first level of star consultant, I don't know why I'm writing this down, is 1,800. Go and sell 18 $100 gift certificates. If they buy it in November, you will add 10% to it. So a $100 gift certificate is now 110. A $200 gift certificate is now 220. These are the things I did as a military wife with no money and no credit when I wanted to achieve my goals. Because then you sell a $100 gift certificate that's worth $110 to a man to give to his wife for the holidays. She comes to redeem it. Is she just going to spend $110? No. No. She's going to spend $200 or $300. So you guys reach out to the men you know. If your husband, if you have a husband or a significant other and they work outside the home, take your business cards, write a note that says, call me about you being a hero by Thanksgiving and have your husband hand it to every man he knows and say, I know this sounds weird, but you need to call my wife. <laughs> and don't laugh, don't laugh. But I'm telling you, the business that my husband has brought me by telling guys where he works, hey, dude, if you're not squared away for the holidays, you need to call my wife. She will square you away. I have reached out to every man I know, and I'm like, when you purchase a gift certificate for your wife, or your daughters, or your girlfriend, or all of the above, LOL, because these are text messages, I will add 10% to it to increase the value. It must be ordered by November 30th. My goal right now, I'm at pearl level, my goal is to max out Star Consultant this quarter. You guys, if I can do this, you can do this. This is, this is a no-brainer. This is not rocket science. Contact the men. If you don't have the men's contact information, contact the woman and say, hey, I have a great idea to make your husband a hero by Thanksgiving. Can I have his phone number? Or will you forward my information to him? I just had a model here an hour ago that I said, so, you think William squared away for um, for Christmas? And she goes, no, he, he's clueless. I said, okay, can you send him my information? 
and I'll square him away. And she's like, yeah. You guys, that took, wow, that took a whole 14 seconds. <laughs> Monica, I'm so glad you think I'm funny. I love it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Go to church on Sunday and say, man, who wants to be a hero by Thanksgiving? Who wants my phone number? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys! You're 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 putting yourself, you're holding yourself back. You're putting yourself in a box. Break free! You're Help right. these guys. They're desperate. Oh. You're right. You're right. I am. Amy, have you sold gifts to men in the past? Oh yes. Yeah. Would you talk about that? Because I sound. I felt. I feel like I'm flying solo here. Oh, no, you're not flying solo at all. I mean, it's, it's very true. Guys want to look great. I've done um, this. Well, I should say it this way. I have a particular husband that was a friend of um, a girl I met in college. And we've known each other for a long time. And every Christmas and birthday, he would be like, Amy, you know how to rescue me. <laughs> and I said, yep, Bob got you covered. You know, ironically, his name is Bob, just like my husband's. But I would go so far as to get the flowers, like a dozen roses, and put in it chocolate, and um, she liked Victorian things, so I like to make it like pink and kind of pretty and frilly for her. Um, but he would buy over a hundred dollars every single time, and he had no qualms about it. It would be always like you know either beautifully shredded and wrapped up, or you know something little, whatever he needed. But you just make sure you have a baby, you take the stress off of them, it's wrapped, it's ready to go, and they're quite happy to come over on Christmas Eve and call you Christmas Eve and be like, hey, rescue me. <laughs> well, and I, and I will tell you guys, if they have sons and daughters, you mm -hmm. can help them out. So what I've done a, a lot of in the past is they'll say, well, yeah, you can help me and my daughters and my wife, but what about my son? I, I'm like, you know what, I'll help you with that too. I'll put in your budget, I'll go get um, a $25 Starbucks gift card, or is he a GameStop kind of guy, or is he um, like a Visa gift card, and I'll throw in one of the colognes or a couple of the men's products, and I'll square him away too. But I want to tell you guys, once you get someone to understand what your gift service is like, they will never stop using you. And Andrea and I keep moving and we lose people or we hand them off to other consultants, but we've both been in the same, Andrea, you've been there three and a half years? Four. Four, okay. Well, we've been here three years. Well, no, we've been here three years. You haven't, you've been there longer than, okay, never mind. Um, so it takes a few years for them to get it, but if you guys know people and they trust you, just say, dude, let me just send you a picture of what I can do. Let me tell you what, if you have a Kohl's, K-O-H-L-S near you, or you can go on Kohl's.com, they have right now little four and six packs of Godiva chocolates on sale for 50% off. The Godiva chocolate with whatever, you know, sussy you want to put with it, I put it all in a heart, a gold heart box. I got a bunch of them um, after Valentine's Day a couple of years ago at Michael's for like 50 cents each. But you can put it in anything. You can even take just a little box, like just a regular brown box, wrap it in gold paper and put everything in there. It doesn't matter. How would you feel if tonight when you get ready to go to bed, there was a gift by your sink, by your toothbrush or on your pillow, a gift, anything? like socks with a note from your man that said, thank you so much for everything you do. I love you so much. Drop the mic. <laughs> How excited would you be? Yeah. Okay. So paint that picture to your man and say, help me help other men be a hero. And by the way, if you want to be a hero, call my director and she'll tell you what to get me. Okay. There is a Victoria's Secret sale going on right now. Five pairs of panties for $30. So I'm just saying. 
I'll tell him how to go to victoriasecret.com. Okay. You guys, are you getting it? Mm -hmm. Holidays don't start at Christmas. It starts at Thanksgiving now. And your customers and some of you are going to go out shopping for Black Friday or after Thanksgiving or whatever. If you are not buying all Mary Kay from yourself to give to your family, your friends, your loved ones, your co-workers, you are cray cray. A hand cream, satin hands, you get it at cost and you get retail credit. Why are we not giving everyone we know Mary Kay for Christmas? It's funny because when my daughter recruited, I said, great, now I can't give you Mary Kay for birthday and Christmas. She goes, yeah, you can. I'll sell it. I make 100% profit. A smart girl. All right. Any questions? Any? I want to hear what, what have you guys been doing? Oh, they're Anybody? all needed. Oh, thank you, Andrea. Raise your hand if you want to brag on something you did. Yay! Okay. Maggie! I want to brag on myself. It's been a while. Um, I packed up some little goodies. Some of you saw the picture that I posted. Um, and I, the company that I work for is actually split up into two buildings. And my building has less people. There's probably maybe even 30 of us. But I talked to every single one of them about Mary Kay and gift. Oh. That is about the traction that I've gotten so far. But um, I do have a couple people perhaps interested. So I just bring my basket in and I just say, I don't want my products to freeze. <laughs> oh my would. gosh. So I say, I'm meeting some of my customers after work to show them some of my gift giving options, but I don't want my products to freeze. So I bring it inside. Woo! Good job. Maggie. Boom. <laughs> I and she's that one on my own. I love her. Another smart blonde. I love it. And I also okay. met, uh, well, I met one of my other coworkers is a Mary Kay husband. So he thought it was very cool that I brought products in. All right. I am so proud of you, girlfriend. That's awesome. You're doing it. And you know what? I've seen so many pictures of your cute husband, and I know he has a job, and I know that he can work your business for you. I don't know how to convince him of that. Oh, give me the phone. <laughs> Try it, Maggie. You just, say, you, just say, you just say, honey, how many of your friends do you think are going, oh my gosh, it's only five weeks till Christmas. What am I going to do? Just give them my number. Let me see if I can help them out. If I can't, it won't be any big deal. And you know what, Maggie? I have to tell you, when you said that, I kind of had a flashback. When um, Andy and I first got married, he was like, well, I don't want to put pressure on people, and I don't want them to go, oh, bye for my wife. And I said, well, you know what? Why don't you just give every one of them a $10 gift certificate from me? and say, use this towards a gift certificate or a gift for your wife or whatever. And he was like, okay. And he took a bunch of $10 gift certificates into work with my information on it. You see, when you're giving someone something, it feels better, right? Did you get a lot of traction that way? I mean, I, I tend to feel like I'm giving things out, but then. Oh, no, 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 no. Have, have you tried to shop with just $10 on your own website? <laughs> I, I would imagine it's pretty hard. <laughs> yeah. So what, you, what happens is they give it to their wives or their girlfriends. They go on your website. They register and you say, oh, my gosh, I would love to turn this $10 into $20. let us get together with you and two of your girlfriends and do holiday makeovers. Right now, Mary Kay's doing this model search, and normally I have my sheet right here to show you guys, but, you know, the, the Mary Kay model search, whatever it's called, um, and I would love to get together with you and get your opinions on these products. That's a good idea. I could actually, maybe I could swing that. Okay. 
So if he could hand out $10 gift certificates to all his friends with your information on it, it's not like he's saying, let me give you my wife's information. He's giving them a $10 gift certificate. And unless you have 20 people order acne treatment gel, you're going to make money. <laughs> okay. And you want to get the names and numbers. Okay. Try it. Because I've seen him. He's a cutie patootie. Well, thank you. And I would love, <laughs> love, 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 if you would be a director by December 31st and bring him to leadership so we can meet him. Okay. <laughs> She's like, okay. <laughs> She has no idea what she just agreed to. Okay. <clears throat> Anything else? Oh, we're 32 minutes. Well, let's just, you know what, you guys, let's all give a big thumbs up to Andrea for being on this call tonight. <laughs> because I want to tell you, Saturday, my daughter and I were coming back from the Breakfast of Champions, and we were listening to her Voxer message. <laughs> And Jewel said, who is that? I said, that's Dre Babe. She goes, that is not Miss Andrea. I go, yeah. She goes, what's wrong with her? I go, she's on Percocet. <laughs> she made no sense. I'm going to send that boxer back to her now when she's sober. And she's like, I could never like do crack cocaine or anything because I don't do good on drugs. And I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I could never do meth. I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> it was so stinking funny. But you know what? This is what it says about your leaders. Your leaders show up. And that's all we want from you. We just want you to show up. So Joan, oh my gosh. So stinking proud of you. Um, if you have any concerns, questions, anything on Saturday, I will have you on speed dial. Okay. So if you, if you're doing your vendor thing and you have any questions, stick the phone in someone's hand and call me. Amy, thank you for sharing about your holiday gift stuff. I, I want you to multiply that times 10 this year. Go find 10 husbands. I want you to have 10 new husbands. Okay. And you're, and you're not <laughs> even Mormon. Okay. Maggie. Whoa. You get the award for smartest girl tonight. Best idea. Okay. So excited about that. You, you and Joan are neck and neck with that little Thanksgiving cutie thing. Monica, I love your laugh. Just keep, keep on laughing, girlfriend. Monica, are you going to go to church this weekend and tell all the men to call you that you're their girl? Yes. Yes, I, yes, I am. Yes, I am. And, <laughs> I and all the boys. And, and also, too, my husband, uh, he works for um, Nabisco. So, of course, he's around a whole lot of men. So, I'm, I'm definitely, I'm, I'm trying to get my thoughts together as to what I want to do. Um, I'm thinking about, like, maybe, like, getting some of the satin hands sets and trying to do something and maybe, like, giving those to him to take, you know, take to the job to, you know, to sell, you know, for me. Monica, can I, can I give you an idea? Yeah, give me an idea. Okay. What I would do is I would, I would get on your computer uh -huh. a quarter page, a little quarter page, you know, four to a page thing that says, do you want to be a hero these, this holiday season? Okay. Do you want to be a hero this holiday season? I can help you be the hero for your woman that you want to be. Okay. Gifts, and then put gifts starting at $15. It's a hand cream. Okay. On up. Call me. And then what you do is when they call you, you say, there are two things we can talk about here. One is what I call the pillow gift. And if they call you before Thanksgiving, you talk about Thanksgiving. If they call you after Thanksgiving, you talk about Christmas. And you say, I want you to imagine how crazy that day is, how exhausted your wife is by the end of the day. She's kind of grumpy. It's kind of anticlimactic, like everyone's eaten, open their presents, they're gone. 
And I designed for you a gift that you put on her pillow or by her toothbrush. And when she goes in for her shower, you put it there. And it has a gift card from me and a box of chocolates with a note from you that says, you are the thing, you know, you are the woman I'm most thankful for, or you are the gift that I get every day of the year. Thank you for all you do. Or I can help you with the big gift under the tree. Whichever you'd like to do is fine with me. And if he says, well, I don't know if she wears makeup, or I don't know what fragrance she's like, or, you say, that, leave that up to me. Because everything I wrap up for you in your budget, everything I wrap up for you, she's going to think you spent twice as much. And then she will be given the opportunity to get together with me after the holidays and swap out anything that she doesn't love. I got it. I, I don't know that I would send in gifts with my husband. I think I'd start right now before Thanksgiving with, with that postcard and, and come up with something cute on your computer. Andrea may even have something she can send you. Print it out on cardstock. Okay. Do you want to be a hero this Thanksgiving or during the holiday season? Okay. Call me. Okay. I got your back. You can even say something fun like, I've got your back. Or don't let the cookie crumble. Okay. It's Nabisco, <laughs> right? Yes. Okay. Don't just give her crumbs when she wants the whole cake. You can come up with, <laughs> Andrea, I know you're creative. You can come up with all kinds of cute stuff. Okay. I'll see what I have. I, I, I'm having a hard time getting to the computer, but I'll see what I have maybe tomorrow. Instead of being a human, being her, be her man. I just made that up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Be her man, which means you are the man. Or you can even put, let's get crazy here, I can square you away until Easter. Sex, eight nights a week. <laughs> Tell you what guys every year sometime between thanksgiving and christmas my husband writes me a thank you note i'm telling you right now it squares him away till easter so it works <laughs> it works tell him it is proven this is science <laughs> women just want a sincere thank you with chocolate and makeup Yes, and I'll cool. tell you, Monica, something you can do in those gifts, just as a side note, is you mm -hmm. can always do a compact with a gift certificate attached to it. Fill this okay. compact. Yeah. That's like, okay. what is that, Andrea, like $65? If it's filled, probably. Yeah. Y'all are all like, well, why wouldn't she tell me that? Because I just got brilliant because Monica inspired me. <laughs> Maggie just asked if we haven't. Well, what I read was, do we have an edible gift certificate? <laughs> but what she asked was, <laughs> my mind is on eight nights a week. <laughs> edible, edible underwear? <laughs> she said, do you have an editable? <laughs> editable. <laughs> no, I do not. Have fun with that. It's early. <laughs> do it yourself. But, but uh, I, I like will, edible I will better. Love Maggie. Andrea? I'll yeah, Andrea's going to look. Andrea has a hard time getting around her house right now, but um, she's got really cute access to cute stuff, and she's also very good at pit collage. And I'm sure that if we got her to take enough Percocet, she could come up with a really cute gift certificate. <laughs> you might I not want to read it. <laughs> it may have all kinds of stuff on it that we don't want to see, but no. But I do want to say, um, Andrea, from... My heart of hearts, I am so glad that you're good after your surgery, you're yeah. adorable, you're precious, and we're so glad you were on tonight. Just thank you, thank you, thank Aww. you. Aw, thanks guys. Love being with you. All right. All right, you guys, let's cut it up. Woo!